गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई होप आई एम ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल टू एवरी वन राइट वेलकम टू राज मोहत्रा आई एस वेलकम टू आर डेली हिंदू न्यूज पेपर एनालिसिस हाउ आर यू एवरी वन आई होप एवरी वन इज फिट एंड फाइन एंड रेडी टू स्टार्ट आर हिंदू एनालिसिस फॉर टूडे राइट लेट मी चेक ओके ओके गाइस वी वॉन्ट स्टार्ट द क्लास फॉर द सेशन फॉर द टूडे before i move to the session just again a little bit reminder to everyone that we have a course by the name of ignited current affairs if anyone wants to avail this beautiful course that has or covers current affairs of all the prescribed given newspapers and magazines you can click on this number or you can dial and get register yourself it's going to be a very very helpful course for you guys who are seriously preparing for the current affairs part i hope this part is clear to everyone right okay now we will try to analyze today's news but the majority news has been concentrated on the recent we could say skirmish that has happened at lac right line of actual control between india and china on the border of tawang right in the district of tawang along the line of actual control han ji good morning everyone good morning okay so i'm going to start the session for today as you can see the big news is clash at yangtze chinese tried to change the lac status quo very very important see there were series of negotiations that happened between india and china in the late 1990s till let's say early 2000s where they discussed about maintaining the status quo and positioning their forces wherever they are but this time pla we could say of uh, army of china moved in towards this line of actual control towards the area that is the part of the territory which is let's say claimed by china but actually it is being controlled by india i think everyone knows about this the area that is arunachal pradesh it is being claimed by china but actually its control is with india and this line of actual control which is there in this region between india and china is called the line of actual control or we can say the mcmohan line now there was series of we could say questions that were being asked by the opposition parties in the parliament related to this recent happening that has happened over the line of actual control but we could say our minister like the defense minister has blamed it the entirely on the people liberation army and the officials from the other side of the border they are blaming entirely on the indian side both the sides are basically doing what they are blaming against each other but as a nation we have to take our stand and we have to make sure in the future this thing needs to be resolved we cannot have a incident again like the incident that happened in galwan right i think you must be remembering or you must remember about the incident galwan where 20 indian soldiers were killed this is a area that is one of the disputed area it is in the ladakh territory so we do not want another episode on the lines of this galwan episode so india has to make sure that by setting up a dialogue or by maintaining or we could say using his soft power or hard power india has to make sure that india doesn't allow certain incidents to happen and has to make sure that it needs to up up their we could say bordering management they have to make sure they have to be more vigil about anything that like say any incursion or any troop of chinese army coming inside our territorial land so this is the thing that needs to be done in the future and for the moment right now there have been no casualties if we talk about both the sides of the border that is indo and india and china right so this has been the major news recently agar hum baat kare india aur china ko leke you can see over here PLA blames India for the latest face off at LAC now they are saying ke PLA ne India ko blame kiya hai and India is blaming Chinese this thing continues ever and ever again right in the previous clashes as well Chinese used to blame us and Indians used to blame Chinese but China has become very very offensive if we talk about the let's say 
in the territorial boundary that we have with them that is with the we could say china and india right so they have become very very offensive they are starting making infrastructure building roads that is very very we could say aggressive that is the power that is being used by china right so this is the thing related to this chinese tried to change the lac status quo okay haan ji if haan ji aarti mishra ji good morning pooja ji good morning subhin saxena ji good morning right okay so the next is basically see there were two or three articles i tell you one thing there were two to three articles but this one was the most important article that i choose that i would write to analyze right now why because those two articles were not saying anything relating to our we could say anything related to prelims point of view anything related to mains point of view they were not just up to the mark articles if i talk about it so we have to choose our articles very very carefully when we are trying to analyze them so this is a very very important article this article wants to say the rise of rural manufacturing very very important now we have seen there is a sudden shift in the base where manufacturing is taking place the base of the manufacturing is now going from the urban sector to the rural sector very very important to understand now the basis of the manufacturing are shifting from urban to rural sector what could be the causes with this sudden change in the manufacturing let's try to discuss the first and the foremost reason is the floor space supply constraints i think everyone must be knowing that if you have to expand your production area or your base area right let's say where you are producing if you have to let's say increase that area or make more floors you have to take certain directions you have to take certain permissions from the government itself so there is lot of procedures involved in that so can i say one thing there are lot of floor space supply constraints but if i talk about in context of rural areas there are not such constraints as at are found in the urban areas so this becomes one of the probable options and one of the let's say attractive options for the manufacturers that are shifting their base from urban areas to rural areas that is floor space supply constraints second explanation that why they are shifting is on the low operating cost very very important to understand that in the rural areas operating costs are very very low as compared to let's say the urban areas which increases their profitability margin which increases their profitability margin and the third explanation could be that you know that we are able to find very low skill or we can say very cheap labor in the urban areas that are not that much unionized unions ki baat bhi nahi hoti hai and it is easy to mold them right so this is one of the reason as well that is resulted in the shifting of manufacturing from urban to rural areas we are not saying that this is a very bad news for us that manufacturing centers are being shifted from urban to rural areas why it is not a bad news because it is providing livelihood to the people who are lay there in the rural areas maybe some people are trying to come out from the agriculture sector as we know agriculture sector is already too overcrowded right ke wo zyada hi overcrowded hai so as a result people are now able to move from agriculture but they are not getting unemployed as they are being able to absorb in this manufacturing sectors which have shifted to this rural areas so can i say one thing this have become a source of livelihood as well this have created more employment opportunities and have put or ease the burden on the agriculture sector as well because of the shifting of manufacturing sector from urban areas to rural areas now one of the most important question here arises is what are the challenges or what would be the future challenges related to this one of the major challenge in the future would be if you have to compete with other makers in the market you cannot be relying on this low cheap skilled unskilled labor that is available in the market because over the future course of time you would lose the competitive edge first thing that you cannot rely in the long run with this low skilled labor 
द सेकेंड थिंग दैट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज द लेट से द रेंट आर वेरी वेरी लो इन रूरल एरिया भाई लैंड का खर्चा कम है तो रेंट बहुत कम है बट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट्स तो 60% परसेंट इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट बनती है इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल इट बिकम सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट सो एज अ रिजल्ट रेंट आर ऑफ सेट बाई द इंटरेस्ट पेमेंट सो सम हाउ दीज आर द टू चैलेंजेस दैट वन नीड्स टू सी वन इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ द कैपिटल एंड सेकेंड वन इज द कॉम्पिटेटिव वेज दैट दीज इंडस्ट्रीज कुड लूज ओवर द लॉन्ग रन विद दिस लेबर दैट इज अवेलेबल टू दैम so this was the theme of the article that why there has been a shift what are the advantages of this shift and what are the future challenges related to this shift if we talk from moving from manufacturing from urban areas to rural areas right okay now this is the next news that these are the two news cuttings or the clippings that i have taken one is that the ladakh we could say is asking to get included under the six schedule now they are demanding that their identity employment opportunities need to be helped on and they need to be included in the six schedule but the government is saying that they are already seen they have already getting the development benefits agar hum inki baat karte hain that is the population of ladakh i think everyone knows if one gets under let's say uh, six schedule तो एक ऑटोनॉमस काउंसिल बना सकते हो ऑटोनॉमस डेवलपमेंट काउंसिल विच कैन फ्रेम लॉज ऑन लैंड पब्लिक हेल्थ एंड एग्रीकल्चर दिस वाज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी कैन गेट आउट फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर आर्टिकल दैट लद्दाख वांट्स टू गेट इंक्लूडेड अंडर द सिक्स शेड्यूल इफ एंड इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू गेट अंडर द सिक्स शेड्यूल वट बेनिफिट इट विल गेट इट कैन help in the creation of autonomous development council so that they can make their own laws on land public health and agriculture subject to governor's approval right so this is one of the thing that has been asked by the people of the ladakh right second now this was nothing that much important but there is a concept called disability district disability rehabilitation centers district disability rehabilitation centers I think everyone is aware about, let's say, के if we talk about disabilities, ah, uh, this present government is more, ah, uh, we could say, have started so many schemes for the betterment of the disabled persons. So one of the this was the to form the district disability rehabilitation centers. But out of targeted two sixty nine, only fifty five to sixty are functional. This is one of the most important thing that we guys need to understand. कि जितने टारगेटेड थे उतने अभी तक फंक्शनल नहीं हुए नाउ दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम विद द गवर्नेंस इन इंडिया द टारगेट दैट वी सेट एंड द एंड रिजल्ट दैट वी गेट देर इज द फार फार डिफरेंस देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंस इन विच वी कुड से इतना टारगेट था और इतना अभी हमारे फंक्शनल हुए हैं सो वी नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट मोर एंड मोर रिहेबिलिटेशन सेंटर आर ओपन अप फंड को डायवर्ट नहीं करना चाहिए फंड शुड बी यूज फॉर द पर्पज फॉर इच फॉर विच इट वर created right so this were the two news that you just need to understand right okay one thing that you guys need to understand in this as well that ministry of social justice had increased the number of disabilities from 7 to 21 very very important now the number of disabilities that are now classified are not 7 but 21 that was recognized in 2018 so itni cheez yaad rakh lena now the number of disabilities that have been considered are not 7 but are 21 that were updated in 20 uh, 2018 aur jinko implement kara jayega isi saal right so this was one of the two clippings that we guys need to understand okay moving to the next thing now i think everyone is aware of this problem that we have been facing right now that is the assam accord right one thing you need to understand this assam accord agitation started in the year let's say 1979 by all india assam student union all assam student union and it finally resulted in the signing of the assam accord very very important that was signed on 15th august 1985 by then rajiv gandhi government with the leaders of the assam 
when this accord was signed basically it inserted article 6a or section 6a very very important under the citizenship act 1955 it inserted article or section 6a in the citizenship act 1955 now what this particular section says foreigners who had entered assam before january 1st 1966 who have entered before january 1st 1966 and has been ordinarily resident in the state would have all the rights and obligations matlab jo ek january se pehle aa gaye they would be considered the citizens aur unke paas sari powers hongi and they would have all the obligations that a citizen would have if a person who has entered between 1st january 1966 and 25th march 1971 would have the same rights and obligations except one thing that they would be denied that they would not be able to vote for 10 years very very important they would be not be available to vote for 10 years now there are lot of petitions that have come in response to this section 6a which has been lying let's say in the various courts what is those petitions that have been lying and what are their demands basically people of assam were agitated that they would be denied the employment opportunities to the people that who have come after 1951 they are sticking to the already present system that had already been in place that is citizenship act 1955 let's try to look at the demands of the petitioners petitioner says special provision in article is in violation of article 6 of the constitution that fix the cut off date for granting citizenship to immigrants at 19 july 1948 now according to article 6 of the constitution the cut off date is basically 1948 so they are saying it is in violation with article 6 of the constitution another thing they are saying they had sought the updation of national register of citizens that is nrc of assam on the basis of 1951 nrc but not on the electoral rolls of the march 1971 this is the thing that they are contesting that if the people have to be included in the nrc of the assam it has to be on the basis of electoral rolls of 1951 not on the basis of 1971 we know this have been the thing that was under a lot of news in the past 2 to 3 years but this is a petition that has been lying and we have to see what happens in relation to this right related to this assam accord okay guys if people have been able to register themselves see if people were able to form ration cards before 1966 then we would be able to identify right it is not our work it is the work of the government or the people themselves that they have to prove okay now this is a very important news related to a scheme called scheme for the development of solar parks and ultra mega solar power projects very very important there has been a scheme for the development of solar parks and ultra mega solar power projects one thing you need to remember union government has sanctioned around solar capacity generation up to 39000 megawatts but out of this the capacity that has been installed is only around 10000 megawatt very very important to understand see the thing is already that i am talking about target kuch aur hai aur implement kuch aur hota hai right target kitna hai 39000 megawatt ka but how much has been implemented or commissioned 10000 megawatt now what are the various reasons due to which this solar power projects have not been commissioned let's try to look at the reason first is the problem of land acquisition very very important one is the problem of land acquisition second are the environmental issues and third was the economic halt during covid pandemic these are the three reasons that have been given by the government related to non commissioning of the rest of the capacity of the solar power plants under the scheme for ultra solar power parks क्यों नहीं कर पाए हैं ये रीजन इन्होंने मेंशन किए हैं नाउ वन ऑफ द रीजन दैट हैज बीन हाइलाइटेड एज वेल इज द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ ग्रेट इंडियन बस्टर्ड हु कम इन द लाइन विद द सोलर पावर वी कुड से ट्रांसमिशन लाइंस 
it comes in the power and that is leading to their death as well and it is already a critically endangered species so the government or the supreme court asked the power companies to lay the cables underground in order to protect the great indian bustard there was a recent news as well that you have to elevate great indian bustard in order to protect itself by the project great indian bustard on the basis of project tiger now here as well they ordered the let's say ask the companies to lay the underground cables but the cable companies are saying if we would lay the cable underground it would increase the operating cost for the generation of solar power plants so this is a big big worry if we talk about the generation of solar power plants what is there in front of the companies what is there in front of the government one thing we need to know that india had the target to generate 175 gigawatt from renewable energy by 2022 ye aap note bhi kar sakte ho ye hamara target tha out of which target was 100 gigawatt through solar energy but if we talk about the right now potential that we have that is only 61 gigawatt this thing with this article tries to convey our target was 175 gigawatt of renewable energy out of which 100 was basically solar energy and if we talk about right now what we have been able to achieve that is 61 gigawatt right so this was the news that only one fourth of the sanctioned solar projects have taken off matlab jo capacity 39000 ki thi usme se sirf 10000 ke around megawatt ke jo hamare uh, solar power plants hai they have been commissioned right okay guys so this was the our news paper today let's try to look at the pdf this was the news that we covered Chinese try to change the LSE status quo. Nothing much more than that over here. There was nothing in this news or the states page that were of use for us. See, there were these articles, but these articles have been constantly coming, like the attack on, let's say, judiciary, or we could say the conflict between the judiciary and the government on the issue of collegium and NJAC. We have discussed this in a lot and in a detail as well. So no need to harp on again on this particular issue, right? So this was on the Gujarat model, no use of us, and this was on the headline inflation. I think everyone would have known by now that our inflation has now eased out within the range of six percent, and this is all due to the stance taken by the government. But we have to be careful in respect of the future. to keep the inflation in the range of 2 to 6% as most of the economies worldwide have not been able to control the inflation but india has been able to control the inflation right so this was the article that this basically wants to talk about that is interim relief now this is about wildlife conservation bill we have already discussed so it was basically talking about the penalties that there are there in the converse uh, this wildlife amendment bill and why if we talk about forest basically the people who get arrested are from the lower caste so this was the theme of the article i didn't think it is of importance for us to harp upon this is the thing that we discussed that the rise of rural manufacturing right this was not that much important analyzing us china bilateral ties i read it in detail this is related to the movie kantara watch the movie kantara it's a good movie okay this we have uproar in parliament over india china clash we discussed this this we discussed house panel flags casual approach of government over setting up of disability centers right ministry awaits direct reply to schedule on six schedule we have discussed this we have discussed the assam accord as well so this was in the news this is we have discussed only one fourth of the sanctioned solar power projects nothing much more important than this and rest was a world page nothing important from our point of view if we talk about it and this was nothing that was there if we talk about it right so this ends our topic for today and finally argentina has won over croatia and argentina lionel messi and everyone is playing for lionel messi is in the final of the let's say okay chetu good to hear about that right So Argentina has won and it has been reached the finals. Let's see for today who would reach in the final. There's a match between France and Morocco, right? You need to be updated about that as well. ठीक है कि final कहाँ पे खेला जाएगा वो भी हम check करेंगे, right? So guys, this is it from my side. We have covered the entire newspaper. I hope 
we are being comfortable with each other right we need to grow our base as well so make sure you do like share and subscribe and keep on let's say uh, let's say tuning on into our channel and give us all the love and the support thank you so much guys we would see each other same time tomorrow sharp at 9 am so don't miss it with will coming with lots of new lot of uh, let's say next type of news and lot of good analysis right thank you so much